My name is Jim Thomas and welcome to the Fitness Management Update. Our topic today is when is it time to terminate a gym employee? And you know, we get asked this question frequently uh, to, to owners, really they get isolated, they're not having communication with, with other groups and, and they're not getting that feedback and they want to know, you know, when is it time to terminate a gym employee? And here's the first thing that I would comment on when it comes to this. You know, if it really is the right decision, you know, the very fact that you're thinking about it, you know, probably tells you that it's time to do it. And number two, in all likelihood, that person already knows. Okay, so that can hopefully in many cases can take some of the anxiety out of this. Now, there's a couple things that come to mind immediately on this. You know, number one is production. And, you know, if you've had a, you know, a continual decline in production, I mean, this stuff doesn't happen by accident. I mean, we can't blame the economy and the club and the price and the competition. I mean, it, it always has to be us because, you know, that's the only thing that we actually have control over. That's the only thing that we can truly change. So if you're having that decline, and I would say, you know, anything that's in that 60, 90 day range is certainly a, a big red flag for you. And even someone who's a new hire, and I know a lot of new hires, they'll come on like at a 90-day probationary pe period or 60-day. But the truth is, unless they're selling people quickly, unless they're making sales that first week, you know, many times that's going to be a red flag as to where they're at uh, in terms of this sales process. Now, next on our list is attitude. And, you know, one of the rules that we all have always followed is that, you know, anything that's a bad attitude, I mean, this really is cancerous to your organization and it will kill you. And if there's anything that is absolute, is that you must have positive attitudes. If you have bad attitude, uh, that's almost 100% immediacy uh, that they're going to be terminated. Unless there's some kind of a unique circumstance that we feel like we could work with, uh, that's going to that's going to cause a change. Now, in the general sense, you know, when we get asked this question, you know, when is it time to terminate a gym employee? Let me first give you, as a gym owner or someone who's a manager at any level. Here's what your job is. Your job is to give 100% of your efforts to make that person a success, okay? That's your job. The second that you feel you cannot give 100% of your efforts to make them successful, it's time to let them go. And not only are you doing the company a favor, you're doing that person a favor too. And I was speaking from personal experience, I can think of people over the years that I saw something in, I believed in them, and you know, they were struggling. Their attitudes weren't bad. They just weren't hitting the numbers. They were fighting it, you know, for whatever reason. But I continued to see something in them. And so it caused me to continue to want to give 100%, okay? And that's what we're talking about here. As long as we're giving that 100%, you know, let's keep going because there's a chance. But when you stop giving that 100% to make them better, that's when pretty much it's going to be done, okay? Now, the last thing I would say here is I know so many people say, oh, I, I can do this, no problem. I can fire that person, or this is really difficult. Here's the message I would give you. This is not supposed to be easy. You know, I get more concerned with the person that um, that is, is quick to do it and, and it's easy and, and there's there's no, you know, no understanding of, of empathy, you know, on, on how the other person feels, okay? So it's it's not meant to be easy, all right? Uh, my name is Jim Thomas, and this has been the Fitness Management Update.